Hello musicians, Mr. Smith here. This is the tutorial video for the Keyboard Experiment Mini Project. The whole purpose of this assignment is to get you using the piano or the keyboard feature in Soundtrap. So if you want to skip ahead to different things, you can use the timestamps in the description below to skip forward to different steps. All right, let's get started. First, make sure you have your directions page, which looks like this. This gives you the directions that you need to know in order to make the correct sounds. Everybody's project should sound exactly the same. We're all following the same directions and we're all reading the same music. So it should all look and sound the same. If you want to hear exactly what your project should sound like, go to the classroom, look in the stream, and find the video called Sample using the piano. So using the piano feature, this sample is a quick video that plays the project for you so you know exactly what it's supposed to sound like. So that is what your project should look and sound like. All right, let's get started. So we're going to enter studio. If you're in a mobile device, I think it looks something different. Click music. All right, your first step is to name it. Name it keyboard experiment, and then your first name, last name. Let's do John Johnson. Okay. Scroll down. Here are your steps. Okay, first step, we did it. We named our project. Second step, find the loop, drums, basic, verse 1. Go back to Soundtrap. My loops tab is over here. They, these purple notes. Click that. Type in basic verse 1. Make sure you spell it correctly or else it won't come up. You can press the little triangle to preview it. And then you can double click or drag it to your space. So now it's here, we have it. Great. Next step, add it to your screen and set your tempo to 80 for eight measures. We added it to our screen. Now we're gonna set our tempo to 80. Down here, tempo. You can click minus a whole bunch of times or just type in 80, confirm, and adjust. Okay, now our drums are done. We don't have to think about our drums ever again. Let's get rid of the loops tab. Okay, now there are three instruments in this project, drums, bass, and piano. Let's do the bass next. The next step, step four, add new track, select guitar and bass. Let's do that. Add new track, guitar and bass. Come on, here we go. All right, now a piano comes up because we have to tell the computer what notes we want the bass to play. Go back to our directions. Change the sound to slap bass and record the music. We're gonna change our sound from mountaintop lead. Mm, I don't like that. We're gonna switch this. And these are all the sounds for the bass. So you're gonna search for slap bass. Click it. And now we're in the slap bass sound. I'm gonna X out of this. All right, that's the sound we want. Now we're ready to record. But how do we know what to record? Look on your direction sheet. Here's the music right here. This is the piano line. Measures one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the bass line measures one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So right now we're working on the bass line. So let's write in the notes. Most of you shouldn't need to write in the notes because you're familiar with the treble clef, the lines and spaces. 
but just in case you need a review, let's write in the notes together. Okay, the first note is on the third space, so we know that that note is C. The next note is on the second line, that note is G. The next note is on the second space, that note is A. The next note is on the first space, that note is F. And this is the bass line that happens again for four times. So we have C, G, A, F, C, G, A, F, C, G, A, F, last time, C, G, A, F, A, and F. Okay, write in the note names if you need to, but most of you don't need to. Don't forget that these are half notes, and half notes get two beats each. Two beats each for half notes. Okay, so now we know our bass line. Now we're ready to record. There it is. Here's C. Here's G. A. And F. Alright. Before you record, make sure that your metronome is on. Your metronome gives you the tempo, and it clicks you in so you know when to come in. So click on. And then just double check your settings that it's giving you a two bar count in. And click record and you're ready to go. out of it and here it is if you grow scroll this back to the beginning and you can play it listen back and how and hear how it sounds <laughs> Step six, add new track, piano and keyboards. We did our drums, we did our bass, last is our keyboards. Add new track, piano and keyboards. All right, add new track, piano and keyboards. Okay, here we go. What sound do we need? Step seven says change the sound to Rhodes and record the music. We're gonna change our sound to Rhodes. Click this, and these are the sounds for the piano, but it's quicker to just type in R-H-O-D-E-S and click Rhodes. X out of that. Now we have our Rhodes sound. Okay, how do we know what to play? Go back to your direction sheet, and here is the piano line up here. Make sure you play measures one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. Some of you played one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four again. Mm hmm. Gotta jump down to five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's write in the note names for the piano line, just for those of you that need a review. Third space is C. Third space is C. Third line is B. Third line is B. Second space is A. Have another A and an A. This time it's a half note, so we hold the half note for two beats. We have a C, C, B, B, A, A, A. It's kind of hard to write with a mouse. I promise you my handwriting is better than this, but not by much. There's a C. Fourth, fourth line is D. Fourth space is E. Fourth line is D. Third space is C again. Down to B. A. C. 
C. Yeah, that's an ugly C. I can write that better than that. C, D, E, D, C, B, A. Okay, so this is our piano line. C, C, B, B, A, A, A. C, C, B, B, A, A, A. C, D, E, D, C, B, A. C, D, E, D, C, B, A. All right, now we're ready to record. You might have to practice that a few times just on your own to make sure when you're ready to record it, you don't make any mistakes. All right, here we go. My metronome's on. I'm back at the beginning. Now I'm ready to record. out of it and here's my piano line right below my bass line now what you can do your project's basically finished now what you can do is adjust your volume to make sure that the piano can be heard and the drums aren't too loud and the bass isn't too loud the piano seems to be the most important so I'm gonna bring its volume up a little bit bring down the bass and bring down the drums a little bit okay now it should be a little bit more balanced okay Woo! check it out we're done now, one of the most important parts, you gotta do this right. You have to submit this. So the first step in submitting it is to share it with me. We already renamed it, so you have to share it. It's going to save, and then you type in my email address, rsmith72 at schools.nyc.gov. Then you click invite. After you invite, that gives me permission to view your work, but you still have to send me the link in the Google form in Google Classroom. So go up here, copy your link, which is your web address. You're gonna highlight it and copy it. Now you're going to go to the classroom, go to the classwork tab, go to the assignment, keyboard experiment, this is the directions here. Now you're going to go to the forms and fill out the form. Write your first name, write your last name, select which period you have music. Make sure you do the right one. Did you remember to share your project with me? Yes. And then you paste the link here. Click here, right click and paste. Then you click Submit. Okay, I'm not gonna click it now because I don't want a blank one. So, now you're finished. If you need to know what it sounds like or what it's supposed to sound like, remember you can use the sample video right here. Click it and it'll play exactly what yours should sound like. When you listen back to yours and yours doesn't sound like mine, that means you did something wrong and you need to fix it, okay? Please don't forget, you can always email me. I'll do my best to get back to you uh, in a timely fashion. Um, other than that, I will see you in class. Okay, go make music, have fun, experiment with Soundtrap. It's a really cool software. All right, bye. And end.